Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Biochemistry Concepts. This video is about myth hemoglobinemia. It includes what is myth hemoglobin, mechanism of formation of myth hemoglobin, causes and features of myth hemoglobinemia, how it is analyzed and treatment of myth hemoglobinemia. What is myth hemoglobin? Myth hemoglobin is a derivative of hemoglobin and it is one of the types of dishemoglobins. There are three species of hemoglobin normally present in trace amounts. These three species are called as dishemoglobins and those are carboxyhemoglobin, sulfhemoglobin and methemoglobin. The adult hemoglobin molecule HPA comprises of four polypeptide chains, two alpha, two beta. So each of these polypeptide chains has a porphyrin heme group attached. At the center of each of the four heme groups is an atom of iron in the ferrous state. The four iron atoms are the functional centers of the hemoglobin molecule because it is here that oxygen reversibly binds to form oxyhemoglobin. For the binding of oxygen, the iron atoms present in each of the four heme groups must be in the ferrous state. The only difference between hemoglobin and methemoglobin is that one or more of the four iron atoms in the methemoglobin molecule are in the ferric state rather than ferrous state. And because of this, these methemoglobins are incapable of binding oxygen. Coming to mechanism of formation of methemoglobin. When the ferrous form of iron is oxidized to ferric form, so that is Fe2 plus form is oxidized to Fe3 plus, it forms methemoglobin. To carry oxygen, iron of the hemoglobin should remain in the ferrous state. This methemoglobin, which is formed due to oxidation of iron, has poor affinity for oxygen and is unable to bind to oxygen. What is methemoglobinemia? Increased levels of methemoglobin in the blood above the normal level is called as methemoglobinemia. It leads to decreased oxygen transport. The normal level of methemoglobin in the blood is less than 1%. Coming to causes and types, based on the cause, methemoglobinemia can be classified into two types congenital methemoglobinemia and acquired or toxic methemoglobinemia. Congenital methemoglobinemia is inherited methemoglobinemia and it is a rare condition. This is due to lack or absence of methemoglobin reductase which is responsible for the conversion of methemoglobin to normal hemoglobin. So, in the absence of enzyme it leads to accumulation of methemoglobin. Congenital methemoglobinemia is subclassified into two types, type 1 and type 2 based on the site of enzyme defect. The other reason for the congenital methemoglobinemia is due to HBM. Type 1 is characterized by cytochrome B5 reductase deficiency which is restricted to only erythrocytes means this enzyme deficiency is present only in the erythrocytes whereas the non-erythrocyte cytochrome B5 reductase is normal. So due to this it leads to cyanosis. Cyanosis is a blue skin coloration that occurs when the blood does not deliver enough oxygen to the tissues. The only clinical feature of type 1 congenital methemoglobinemia is cyanosis from birth. And this is associated with mild complaints of headache, fatigue and shortness of breath. Coming to type 2, so in this there is defect in the non-erythrocyte cytochrome B5 reductase enzyme. So the defect is present in all the tissues, so it is a generalized reductase deficiency. So this type 2 is uh, much more severe, here the cyanosis is accompanied by neurological dysfunction which includes intellectual deficit, microcephaly, growth retardation and hypertonia. So, coming to methemoglobinemia due to HBM. 
So, individuals who have this abnormal type of hemoglobin HBM, they are also found to have this myth hemoglobinemia. Coming to the second type of myth hemoglobinemia that is acquired or toxic myth hemoglobinemia, it is due to intake of water containing nitrates or due to absorption of aniline dyes. So, aniline dye workers, so this aniline is used in the manufacture of shoe dyes, floor polishes, cosmetics and explosives. So, these aniline dye workers have been known to develop with methemoglobinemia. This acquired methemoglobinemia is also a result of exposure to oxidant chemicals. It includes a range of both prescribed and over-the-counter drugs. Acquired methemoglobinemia occurs when the rate of hemoglobin oxidation to methemoglobin as a result of oxidant exposure exceeds the rate of at which methemoglobin can be reduced by cytochrome B5 reductase. Drugs causing methemoglobinemia are phenacetin, astaminophen, sulfonylamide and sodium nitroprusside. So, the clinical features are related to tissue hypoxia which includes like anxiety, headache, dyspnea and also cyanosis. When the concentration of methemoglobin is 1.5 grams per deciliter or less than that, no symptoms are seen. When it is in the range of 1.5 to 3 grams per deciliter, cyanosis is observed. In the range of 3 to 4.5 grams per deciliter, anxiety, lightheadedness, headache and tachycardia are seen. So, when the level is in the range of 4.5 to 7.5 grams per deciliter, it shows fatigue, confusion, dizziness, shortness of breath. In the range of 7.5 to 10.5 grams per deciliter of hemoglobin, with hemoglobin, it leads to coma, seizures, arrhythmias and acidosis. When it is more than 10.5 grams per deciliter, it leads to death. Laboratory analysis. So, hemoglobin derivatives can be detected by their or characteristic absorption spectra. By using spectroscopy, myth hemoglobin can be analyzed due to its characteristic absorption spectra. Treatment of myth hemoglobinemia revolves around the administration of methylene blue and ascorbic acid. So, these help to reduce myth hemoglobin to hemoglobin. Although ascorbic acid is alone sufficient to elevate the cyanosis in milder cases, the reaction rate is lower than that of the combined treatment. However, uh, these treatments have no effect on neurological dysfunction in type 2 congenital methemoglobinemia. Methylene blue which is used in the treatment, it activates the methemoglobin reductase. Oral administration of vitamin C 200 to 500 milligrams per day decreases methemoglobin level from 10 to 15 percent to 5 to 10 percent and reverses the cyanosis.